Do you have that friend or family member who only contacts you when they need something? We all have that person in our life. And even if we are that person, we still have someone who does it to us. And while it's annoying to think and know that your relationship is nothing but the one person asking and you giving, it's also frustrating because we're no better as we look at the phone and either screen the call or pretend the text didn't go through. I know we can all relate to this situation. But now, think about your relationship with God. Does that look like the situation I just described? Do we only go to God when we need something? When we don't get what we ask for from God, how long does it take us to go back to him asking for more? This is what our gospel and first reading are challenging us with today. In both the first reading and the gospel, people are cured of their leprosy. Nathan is cured in the Jordan River by God at the instruction of the prophet Elisha, and Jesus cures ten people of leprosy in the gospel. We need to focus today on their reactions once they receive the healing. Nathan is so grateful to God for curing him that he literally takes dirt from the land he was cured on to bring home so that when he prays, he will be able to pray as if he was still on that blessed land where the Lord cured him. That would be the equivalent of asking Father Mike for some of the bricks off the church so that you could pray better at home. Obviously, God dwells wherever two or more are gathered in his name. But Nathan didn't know that, and frankly, he didn't care. He was just so thrilled to be cured that he wanted to praise God any way that he could. Now, let's look at the gospel. Jesus cures ten people of leprosy. And how did they respond? Well, nine of the ten left and never came back. Not even a simple thank you. The only person that returned to Jesus, I'm sorry, there was only one person, there was only one person who returned to Jesus to thank him for the healing miracle he received and to offer thanks and praise to God. Moreover, Jesus tells the man that his faith has saved him. This is important to note because whenever Jesus says, your faith has saved you, this means you have gained salvation. Being healed of your sickness does not mean you're saved and going to heaven. Rather, this is the starting point for how you should live the rest of your life, giving thanks and praise to God. Salvation is for the generous, not for the leeches or the greedy. So my brothers and sisters, how do we respond when God answers one of our prayers? Do we feel like it's no big deal because we deserve God to do what we want and so we don't thank him for doing his job? Do we only pray and come to Mass when we need something? Do we only, or do we easily stop praying and stop coming to Mass when we don't have our prayer answered? You see, God is not an idea or concept that we think about, God is a person. We can't have a relationship with an idea. We only have relationships with people. God is a person. Jesus is a real person who came from heaven to earth and still lives. 
because he rose from the dead. What does our relationship with Jesus look like? I do want you to reflect on what your relationship with Jesus looks like, but I also want to share what the ideal relationship with Jesus is. And it starts with prayer every day. Yes, I said every day. It does not matter how you pray as long as you talk to God and you listen for his response. Pray the rosary, read the Bible, do Lexio Divina, pray the liturgy of the hours. Whatever you do, make sure you end with time in silence to listen for God's response. When we do that every day, along with receiving the sacraments regularly, especially Eucharist and reconciliation, we are keeping an active and holy relationship with God. And you will see your relationships with others increase as well. Once we know and believe that we ourselves are beloved daughters and sons of God, then we will see everyone as beloved children of God. And we will treat everyone with the respect and dignity we all deserve. Start praying every day. Start right now. Don't just sit here and go through the motions during the Mass. Pray the Mass. Tell God how you feel. Thank Him for the blessings in your life. And listen for his response.